Hello and welcome to this module on risk mitigation. In this module, we will be discussing the application of the five controls, which are elimination, substitution, engineering controls, administrative controls, and personal protective equipment, which can be applied in conjunction with each other to reduce the risk posed by operations involving biological agents. I am now at a biosafety level 3 facility, which is designated as a BSL3 facility. This is essentially a containment zone in which researchers and laboratory workers can work with biological agents and conduct research in an environment which limits the risk posed by these biological agents. There are two types of containment, primary containment and secondary containment. Primary containment pertains to the protection of the laboratory user from the biological agent by the application of pertinent controls such as personal protective equipment and administrative controls. Secondary containment, on the other hand, pertains to the protection of the environment from the biological agent by the application of appropriate engineering controls and standard operating procedures. Both primary and secondary containment can be applied in conjunction with each other to limit the risk of exposure to biological agents. This module which follows will focus on the application of pertinent controls to mitigate or limit the risk posed by biological agents. We will now proceed to the slide presentation. <laughs> 